today we have another resin 3D printer to take a look at. This time is the Illegu Mars Pro version. I haven't used the previous Illegu Mars version in order to compare it, but we could compare it with other DLP printers that I've used in the past. This printer once again has a very nice design. All metal case for the bottom part and UV protective case made out of plastic for the upper part. It has an active carbon air filter to get rid of the resin smell. It has some powerful UV lights below for higher carrying speeds. A 2K monochrome LCD, steady and very quiet linear rail for the Z-axis, X and Y 0.05mm resolution, sandblasted build plate for better grip and very easy to control and remove this build plate. It's very easy to use with the color touchscreen and it comes with a slicing software for fast printing. Today we'll take a look at what you get when you buy this kit. Talk a little bit about the main specifications and make a few print tests and take a closer look at the results. I hope that this video will give you a general idea about this printer in case that you want to buy it. You have some links and possible coupons below, so check the description. So guys, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. So here we have the new Illigu Mars Pro Resin 3D Printer. Let's first see the main specs of this machine with some details and values and then we see what you receive in the kit when you buy it and finally see all the tests that I made with this printer. So let's start. First of all, the printing volume you will get with this machine is of 11.5cm by 6.5cm in the X and Y direction and a height of 15cm. Then the layer height could have a precision of 0.2mm down to just 0.02mm, which is great. The precision is given by the lead screw and the step motor inside of the printer. And by the way, this motor is very silent, you can barely hear it, and that means that you could work near the printer without hearing any noise. Together with the lead screw system, we also have a metal linear rail. We only have one compared with the other printer from the last week from Anycubic which had two rails. But even so, this linear rail with a 0.02mm precision could give us a pretty good and stable movement without affecting the printing layers. The X and Y resolution is given by the LCD screen which has a resolution of 2K of 2560 by 1440 pixels. So that will give us an X and Y resolution of 0.047mm, which is also very good. The LCD is a monochrome one and advertised to last 3 times more. The UV light is given by a set of powerful LEDs from below with a wavelength of 405 nanometers, which is quite common. Because pretty much all commercial low cost resins that I know will work at this wavelength. The printing plate is removable so we could easily take out the print, clean it or adjust it. It has a ball based mechanism, so it will move in all directions and be easier to calibrate. This printing plate has a CD shape engraved on it and is sandblasted in order to have a better grip. The resin vat as always is removable, so just unscrew these two knobs on the side and you will be able to take it out, pour out the resin, clean it or whatever. This printer is advertised to have an active carbon filter inside there, so it will remove the resin smell, so if you have the printer cover with a plastic top case, you could easily stay near the printer and feel no smell. And by the way, the top case is made out of plastic and protects UV rays to enter or get out of the printer. Ok, so in order to control everything, we have a color touchscreen with a very easy to use menu. You can home the machine from here, set the Z axis 0 position, enable the exposure, print from here and so on. And by the way, to print with this machine you can directly plug a memory stick. So I think that we are ready for the first print, but first a quick unbox. When you receive this kit in a cardboard box, when you open it, you will see two parts. The machine and the toolbox. First, on the machine side, when you remove the top plastic case, you will find even more protection inside. Then you will have the printing plate. So now let's open the toolbox. Inside first of course you have the power cord and the power adapter. Then we have a metal print removal tool. 
Then we have some protection gloves, which you should always wear, and also a small plastic cup that we could use to pour out the lead resin from the vat. Next part is this plastic support of some sort. Maybe this is used for supporting the memory stick, I'm not sure. Then we have some tools, Allen keys, a screwdriver and some pliers. We also have a plastic print removal in order to not damage the printing vat. You will also get some air filter mask as well. A bunch of resin filters in order to pull back the unused resin from the vat and finally we have a rubber band for the top protection case. And of course you will also get the user manual for this machine, with all kind of instructions so don't worry. Ok now pour the cord and then plug the jack into the printer and flip the switch. And remember to enjoy taking out the protective field from the screen. Ok now go in the menu and lift the Z axis. Take the printing plate and also remove the protective film. Now using the Allen key, loose the screws on the side of the printing plate so it could move freely. Now take one sheet of paper from the manual for example and place it over the screen for protection and then go in the menu. Now here we select the home icon. The printer will get lower and lower till it reaches the zero position. Now keep pressure on the printing plate and then tie the screws. Now the machine is calibrated. But in order to save this position go back and hit the Z equal to 0 button. And now the position is saved. You can lift up the Z axis again and now get the resin vat. Once again make sure that you remove the protection plastic. Now slide it onto the printer and tie the screws. Now select any compatible resin that you want and make sure you shake the bottle and wear gloves. Ok it's time to put on the gloves and pour some resin in just a few millimeters. Now make sure that you place the rubber band on the top plastic case. Now take the memory stick and insert it, because this will have some example files. Now go in the menu and select print, and here select the towers example file, and click the print button, and let the machine do the magic. Ok so the first print was kind of a fail. This should have been two towers, not just one. So it seems that the print started ok, but one side didn't stick well to the bed, because as you can see I've only got the first few layers. So maybe I didn't level the bed right. So I've leveled it again losing both screws, and applying more pressure to the plate making sure that I get it right this time for the next prints. But anyway, the test tower turned out impeccable. We can see very clear the text on the side and the text on the top of the tower and also the very tiny details inside of the tower, such as the stairs and the spiral. We can't see any layers, and in overall very clean look. So too bad that the other one failed. Anyway for the next print I've used my own test object. This one printed with no problems. And after each print make sure that you use some alcohol to clean the extra resin, and then use a UV flashlight to cure the parts, or maybe just leave them in direct sun for a few minutes. Ok so let's see the details. First this small text here is perfect. These are 1mm with numbers and the text is going outwards. But now on the other side we have some more text, but this time this text is engraved in the bottom plastic and didn't turn out that good. Yes we can see it, but this one is not as defined as the external text. On the side we can see that it went with no problems up to 75 degrees hanging structure. And here on the other side we have different angles from 25 to 60 degrees. The 5mm cylinder is perfect, but I can say the same for the 5mm round and square holes. As you can see the first layers are bigger than the rest. In the middle we have grooves for 2mm, 1, 0.5 and finally the 0.25mm groove is barely visible. But on the other side the 0.25mm wall turned out great. This is just 0.25mm, that is very thin. And the same goes for these very small pillars. The tip of these cones are just one pixel. Ok so then I've printed this Star Wars figurine. In this case I had to use a lot of supports. On the memory stick that you receive you also have the Cheeto Box software and on the user manual you can see how to use it. Install the software and then in configuration select the Iligu Mars Pro. 
Now import your file. And then if you want and need, carefully add some manual supports where you think is needed. In this case below the gun, the hands and so on. So the final print turned out great. So good details. Look at these very small details on the back of the helmet and the cape is very smooth. Taking out the supports is very easy, using the pliers or directly by hand. Till now I am very happy with the results, especially this one, because once I remove the supports the print looks very good. Ok so next I have printed the same Baby Yoda object that I have printed in my past resin printer review. Only that this time I have printed a little bit smaller. And again I had to use supports. And I also had to hollow the part in order to use less resin. And you can do that in the Cheetobox software. So just import the file and then use the hollow tool and select the wall thickness. And then in order to take out the Ankyo resin we need to make a hole. And as you can see this part has a hole on the bottom. So for that take the hole tool, select the diameter and make the hole. This print also turned out great. And have in mind that all these prints are almost as small as the 50 cents coin. We have great details on the robe, on the face, the eyes and so on. Ok so next I have printed this hollow dragon. This print took me around 3 hours to make and as you know the printing time for these printers is affected by the layer height and the total height of the object. So even if you print multiple objects at the same time, the printing time will be the same. And once again very good details, so in overall I'm quite satisfied with this printer. On all the prints I had good results and having a 2K resolution screen we can get very small objects and smooth finish on the surface. As you have seen we can get very fine details and that could help you for your homemade projects. So guys this was the Elegoo Mars Pro. Nice design with metal and plastic case. It's very silent, pretty decent printing speeds, very good results, easy to remove printing plate, very easy to use touchscreen, USB input, it comes with a Cheetobox software which is also very easy to use and is quite low cost as well. I hope that you now have a general idea about this machine in case that you want to buy it. You have some links below and maybe some coupons for that. I hope that you like this video and if so give it a like. So thanks again and see you later guys.